today I'm uh, heading up to Saint Cirque La Copie. I had a, a nightmare drive yesterday, but finally got here. This is where I am. So this is on the river lot. And let me just flip this around. This is where I'm going. Apparently this path leads into the village, which is about 300 meters above sea level. So I'm a bit apprehensive about the walk because I, I'm really quite unfit at the moment. I've been doing a lot of walking since I've been here, but I'm gonna to need to do a lot more of things like this really to be able to improve my fitness. Oh, I made it. Wasn't so bad actually. I don't know if you can really see how steep that is. It was pretty steep in places. I had to take it all real slow, but Look at the views now. I think this is only the first half. This is 150 meters. And I think it goes up another 150. People over there are taking photos. Come up a bit higher now. I've just climbed up these steps. Um, there is a museum up here, so I thought I might as well pop in and have a look. And uh, you can see where I was by those photographers over there. And there's the museum up there. This is just so cute. This is the kind of thing I imagined when I was looking into coming into France. These kinds of villages. You know, I don't like the big towns. Like the one I went to see a couple of days ago, Gao. But this, this is why I'm here. I think this is kind of most of the village here. So I'm now um, kind of on the outside. I'm going to walk up around. This is where I drove yesterday. So I'm going to walk up around. And I think I can access different parts of the village from up there. My hair is doing strange things. I've been wearing a buff all morning, so my ears are chilly. But yeah. I quite like it. I probably won't put this in. <laughs> I still don't know where to look. The camera's over there, and I'm over there, and it just confuses me all the time. Because your natural instinct is to look at a face. What I can see, I'm looking over there instead of over there. I have the same problem I was talking to my mum on Skype, and so does she. So I've come up a little bit higher. I'm at the ruins of a, an old castle. That down there, there's a crowd of people, is the tourist office. I've gone in there and bought myself a uh, fridge magnet. And there's still more to explore up this way. Some people are quite high up there, I don't know if you can see them from the distance. And at the back there, that wonky car park, that is where I pulled in last night, about two hours before I ended up where I finally ended up. But you couldn't stay there overnight, unfortunately. It's pretty quiet in terms of tourists. Many of the shops are closed. And I think that's just because there's not enough trade to keep them open at this time of year. But um, apparently throughout the course of the year this place gets about 400,000 visitors, though most of them would be in the summer. Just been in this adorable little shop um, and I bought something called confiture de noix, which is like um, a nut sort of uh, jam or sort of a cream. It's, it's like a, a cross between like a, I wouldn't say Nutella, but um, yeah, it's very nice. A nice chat with the uh, ladies inside. Some of the products are very expensive, anything to do with um, like cassoulet or foie gras, which I won't have. Um, but yeah, I had six euros for this um, little jar and it's just an adorable little shop. Very friendly inside and I was able to taste everything first, which is cool. So enjoying my little trip so far, these are really cute little streets.